Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. So today is a bit of like a catch up video slash makeup video. I don't know what this is, but if you couldn't tell from the title already, I am now a married woman. <laughs> it feels so weird to say, but I totally forgot that not all of you follow me on Instagram. I've put, posted up pictures and it has come out of the blue get into that later on um but yes i'm married i'm also doing a little giveaway in this video so i need to do a post notification shout out and today's one's gonna go to Arthika menon so thank you so much for your really sweet comment if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so or you can just leave a nice comment i'm using natural lighting today i thought i'll change it up a bit you know for the theme of a wedding kind of video even though it's not <laughs> i thought i'd keep everything white today and natural lighting so we're doing now today brows are already done and i guess we're gonna start with eyes first i did go on instagram and ask you guys uh, to ask me any questions so i'll probably be going through those as well but yes if you didn't know already i got married on the 12th of october it was a very small intimate wedding and plan is to hopefully do one like a big one one i say one day i'm hoping next year but i don't know it depends if i can plan it all and i don't know me and my husband um never really want to spend like never really wanted to spend like loads of money on a wedding like we'd rather put that money into something else but after like the day we had i really want to like go all out and plan something with like all our families it will be abroad because not everyone is in the uk especially his family so i don't know what we're gonna do i'm planning it i don't know where i'm gonna go with it but yeah i want something where all my friends and family can come to and it's just like a big celebration because it's worth a big celebration like when you get married it's like a full commitment and you do really feel like you become one like officially i don't know the day was so special it was really intimate my dress was very like simple and elegant i don't know how it will be for like the actual big wedding but i don't know i feel like maybe i'll go all out yeah i'm so i'm so happy to say i'm a married woman like it feels so weird still i'm still saying my boyfriend or my partner um but yeah we've been together since i was like 15 so it'll be 10 years next year uh, okay i'm gonna put some of my tarte shape tape concealer on my eyes as a base okay one question is let me go to the beginning Someone said, does it feel different being married now? Congrats again. Thank you so much, by the way. Um, it does feel, oh, I don't know. Like today's been, yesterday was a week and I was like, has it been a week? I feel like it's been longer because I feel like me and my partner were so close and it's been so long. Like it's always felt like we are married, but we are we're not. So this just really made it official, like official, official. Holding this ring feels so weird. Um, and yeah but yeah it's definitely a, a a big commitment to one another and i think that's what makes it special trying to blend this concealer look how that brightens instantly <clears throat> my old manager from bobby brown when i used to work on counter i don't know if you guys remember those days that was like i feel like that was like two years ago um she said just a quick congrats again and so so proud of you of how far you've come from when i worked with you thank you so much nicola that really means a lot um it's so weird because like i've been so surprised by like all the love and support from my friends my colleagues at work i've just been so overwhelmed with love and support and like from my family it's i'm just so so grateful and like the past few days i've literally just been in awe of like how lucky i am to have my mum to have my partner to have my family my house my food it just make, puts everything into perspective and some days i'm just like why do i even moan i have a good job i have an amazing family i'm now married i got i was able to do my teeth that was a huge insecurity of mine lately i've just been like wow like I'm actually so lucky. Finding Axa asks, are you planning to do a meet and greet in London? I want to meet you. That is the sweetest thing ever. Thank you so much, Han. Just the fact that only one person wants to meet me is like really warms my heart up. Um, but I don't know. I've been trying to plan one in Mauritius. I don't know why I'm planning one in Mauritius. 
rather than because Mosh is such a small like community I know like maybe some people come will come I don't know if people will come to my London one I don't know maybe I should plan one I would love to do one because when I went to the Mauritian festival I met so many of you guys and it was like the best day ever I was so happy I had like the biggest smile on my face by the way I'm using the new uh, nude medium Huda Beauty palette I'm gonna be giving away the nude light Huda Beauty palette just to celebrate this like these good times so I'm gonna be giving away this and I'm actually gonna be doing two other big giveaways soon so make sure to follow me on Instagram and also all my wedding pics are on there so you can check them out and see my hubby as well um, <clears throat> so yeah make sure to check out the info uh, box to see the rules for the giveaway and good luck to you all right I'm gonna start with a warm shade first but to answer your question, I will try to plan, your question made me want to plan for one. So I'll try and look into it and yeah, we'll see. That would be so exciting to do me and greet here. Uh, when are you coming to Mauritius? And if you don't mind, is your hubby French? Uh, I don't know when I'm coming to Mauritius. I'm trying to plan something. I, if it's not this year, then hopefully next year. I don't know. My hubby is French. He's actually Guadeloupian, which is like a French island. I don't know if that's the correct way of saying it. And he has a bit of Tamil in him. And yeah. How did you meet your husband? I, we actually met in school when we were like 15 in France. And we've been together since what's your age i'm now 24 i'm gonna be 25 next year and can you guys believe i found a white white hair in my hair like what you need to like uh, i'm gonna put a poll here uh i want i'm thinking to maybe like in a couple of weeks to dye my hair like super light like a golden brown from the roots and then like blondish blonde in the on the ends like a balayage it's going to be a huge difference if i can get it light but this is all virgin hair now this isn't like dyed or anything so i used to dye my hair black so all of that's grown out now so i want to like make a big change with my hair so let me know if i should do that or not or should i just keep it black I'm still contemplating it. I've got a hairdresser testing my hair out to see how like they can get it. Cause I want it. If I'm gonna do my hair, I want a drastic change. I'm not gonna pay like 200 to 500 pounds to make it go like a ginger brown. Like I'm just not for that life right now. <laughs> it's weird cause it says nude, but the medium palette is quite like pinky reddish, mauveish. I'm so gutted cause the uh, rich one broke. It's literally so messy. It literally broke but even that one looks quite reddish too the only one that i could say maybe looks a bit nude is the light one which i'm giving away can you film with your husband now i get these questions a lot my partner's my husband my husband's actually a very private person and i respect that so um even though he's the one that always like supported me and even gave me the idea to start my channel and like go out there and go for it and stuff like it's not really for him to be in front of the camera maybe one day but i don't think it's for him like even taking pictures like he gets so shy yeah he's just a private person i'm actually shocked that he even let me like, post pictures on my instagram okay i'm now taking a much darker shade and blending this on the outer corner Now I'm going to take the shimmery gold shade, which is absolutely stunning. And put that all over. Okay, that colour is so gorgeous. I think I'm just going to put mascara for the lashes nandika said to sing more i posted a little story of me just singing like uh someone someone you loved i feel like with singing it's a kind of thing like either you're good at it or you're not and there's no in between and i'm in between sometimes i'm good sometimes i'm not and when i'm good it's like not wow 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 you know but i've always enjoyed it so i don't know i might post more videos on it i don't know i have to 
Okay, I'm just curling my lashes. I did get a lot of questions about my wedding date, of course. Um, but to be honest, it was so small that there wasn't much planning needed. I just needed to buy a bunch of stuff and that was quick as well. I tailored my dress a bit. Yeah, the ceremony was actually quite quick. Um, I feel like we want to do a church wedding. I'm using my Bad Girl Lash by Benefit. Yeah, that's enough for me. I did wear falsies on my wedding day, although I was so rushed. I was so tired as well. So like I kind of woke up late, so I didn't have much time to get ready. I did everything. And I feel like even for my big, big wedding, I'll do my makeup. Maybe I'll get someone for my hair, but my makeup I'm just so picky on. And I forgot to wear highlight. <laughs> so how can I wear, I forget to wear some glow on my wedding day, but. <laughs> I did wear falsies, like the new Huda Beauty hoodie lashes, they're so beautiful, I love them and they felt so comfortable and I had two dresses, everything's on my Instagram by the way but my Om Sara dress afterwards was so nice. My dress was from a local wedding shop and then we had to tailor it for a few, to a few times to get it the way I wanted it. I feel like the lighting is going slowly. Uh, Ashna asks, how's your married life? Wish you lots of happiness. Thank you so much. Uh, married life feels the same because we live together anyways. Um, so it wasn't like a kind of thing where I have to leave my family and live with my in-laws or anything like that. It's not like that for us. So um, yeah, it just feels the same. We went home, we had like our whole dinner after party bit and then we went home, literally put our PJs on and ordered dominoes like late at night. And I'm like, this is so us for the big one will have like a massive party that will go to like the next day or something but I need to plan for that and I don't know if I can achieve it for next year if not then I want to definitely do it by the by the next year after so 2021 how did you manage to keep your relationship so under wraps well done though that's actually quite an interesting question, but before I go into it, I need to start my face. I'm gonna use some of my Body Shop Vitamin C SPF. Now, actually for my wedding day, I mix my NARS uh, Tinted Moisturizer with my Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. It was like the perfect base ever. Um, so, like I said, my partner's quite um, pri a private person, and I'm actually quite happy to keep that part private. He actually keeps me very grounded. Uh, like once I wanted lip fillers, I feel like I was trying to follow trends, and I already have a good amount of <laughs> lip on my face already, but I, I, he was like, why do you really want that? And I had to like take a step back and was like, why, why do I want this? Like, am I just doing it because everyone's got it on Instagram? Like, I had to really think about it. So I'm glad I haven't done it, although every now and then I still think about it, but I, the more I think about it, like, I'm just, I'm like, nah, I actually don't need it. And I, I, I'm actually quite scared of the thought of having needles stuck in my face. But you never know, I might have it one day, but if I do do it, it has to be for the right reasons and not because everyone else is doing it and I want big lips, you know. But that aside, um, yeah, it's just private. Like, it doesn't mean because someone is online that they necessarily have to share every aspect of the li their life online. And it's weird because when I announced I got married, so many people were offended and he's like, all my followers were so loving and supportive but some people may follow me but they felt so offended because i didn't mention it ever i didn't mention that i was engaged or anything like that and i wasn't wearing my ring anyway i'm just gonna put my foundation on but it's kind of like a sense of entitlement to know because i'm online like you need to know everything i'm doing and i think it's good to have some things personal and intimate, you know? And I already share quite a lot on my on my socials, so I was actually quite surprised when I got those kinds of messages, but it the amount of love and support I got from my followers just took over and I really don't care. Like the loving support I get from my followers really meant so much more. But I was quite shocked to see those kind of messages like how can you why didn't you tell us like how can you be hiding this why did you keep this secret I didn't keep it a secret it's just my life <laughs> I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer this is in the shade 60NN and I'm using my Fenty Beauty um, sponge
Next I'm using a bit of my Laura Mercier powder, which is like my favourite powder at the moment, especially like for every day. Now I'm using my Fenty Beauty um, bronzer in Caramel Cutie, it's like the one I use literally every day. I love a good amount of bronzer. I'm not gonna lie, I've been so, so obsessed with this blush by Versanti Cosmetics. It's their Bloom Blush in Dahlia. Dahlia? Whoa, I really butchered that. And it comes with their little mini blush brush. And I just brush this on my cheeks. It's like the prettiest thing ever and so subtle. So I can't like go much overboard, but it's like there. Can you see it? Bita said, what's your secret to looking absolutely gorgeous all the time? Thank you, but girl, if you saw me at last night, you'd be like, bloody hell, man, what is this catfish? Any tips on weight loss? Your girl needs some help. Um, I do have maybe some tips, but I've been slacking. I've been eating so much junk lately. I don't know if it's because I've come back on holiday and then it was my wedding and then it just like, I've just been eating so much food and junk food. I can see it going back to my face a little bit. Um, so I want to get back on track. So I'm going to you know be real serious and i might go back into intermittent fasting where i don't have breakfast like i start eating food around like one if i can do it with work it's so hard because my belly is literally screaming for help i'm gonna put some on my ciate dewy stick with my sponge so yeah i'm gonna try and get back into it and maybe in like a couple of weeks i'm gonna because i'm gonna like actually get back into it and start working out every day which will be a pain in the beginning. Um, I might, I'll do like what I eat in a day video. I might do like a workout video. Um, yeah, I've got a lot planned for that because it does become a lifestyle, but it's hard when you slip back into healthy eating. That's why when I do healthy eat, I don't like completely restrain myself from eating unhealthy stuff because that's just not worth it. Like what's the point then? I mean like eat healthy, count your calories, I think counting calories was my biggest thing and working out every day so making sure that I was burning more than I was eating <laughs> so that was my biggest thing a Fitbit I definitely recommend getting a Fitbit I need to buy a new one that's waterproof yeah calories 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 and work out eat less try to eat less and if you want something sugary have it but just in moderation but I will have a ton of videos for you guys don't worry I've got you covered I need to get back into it myself so <laughs> just bear with me but I'm gonna put some of that dark color under here the color colors are actually very very pretty then finally for lips I'm gonna use interview in the Huda Beauty matte lipstick range this is from the first set All right, that's the finished look. I really, really love the simplicity of it. It's so beautiful. Let me do a close up of the shadow. All right, guys, thank you so much for all the questions. There's so many. I can't go through each and every one of them, but I think I answered most of the popular questions that were out there. And I just want to thank you all for all the love and support you guys give me. Like, just being the most amazing followers ever. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join the Anushka family. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Love you lots.